So welcome to the second lecture in the data link layer, which is about Mac motivations and basics. So the purpose of this video is to give you an understanding of motivation and basics about multiple access control protocols. Uh, the outline of this video and also the other videos in this series is that first I will tell about what is a broadcast channel, uh, about the multiple access problem, and about some general solutions, namely fixed assignment and random assignment. Both fixed and random assignments will also be dealt with in more detail in later videos. Then, uh, as a last video, there will be an example of different uh, systems, such as Ethernet and Wireless LAN. The motivation uh, for looking into MAC layer is that we can basically divide the network links into two categories. One is the point-to-point -point link, where the received signal only depends on the transmitted signal and noise. So that is the case if, for example, I have two terminals which are connected by one cable, then they're communicating directly to each other. That's the easier version. Then we have the more difficult one, which is a multiple access media, where more media are communicating using the same, uh, or more, more terminals are using the same media. Uh, this is, for example, when we have a broadcast channel, or if we have a wireless spectrum that is to be shared between different devices. Then if you look at it from the receiver perspective, what you receive is the sum of all the signals that has been transmitted, and then there can be distortion, delay, and noise, which is interrupting with it. So in order to handle this more challenging problem, we need the medium access control sublayer or the MAC layer. So just a quick look at point-to-point -point versus shared links. So to the upper right here, we see a point-to-point -point communication where we simply have a cable between the two terminals. So there is no multiple access to discuss here. Then on the bottom, we see the point-to-point -point links between a lot of users. So assume that we have a lot of users and they are each con connected to each other by a cable. Well, that's cost efficient. And just imagine the computer network of the uni university, if all terminals had to have a direct cable to each other, that would be not feasible. So somehow we need to be sharing communication links. Uh, a simple example of that is shown uh, on the bottom to the right, where we can see that a number of servers are sharing a single, uh, single physical channel. Um, the concept of multiplexing means that we are transmitting different in information in the same physical link. So what, that is what is going on here. Um, that leads to the packet multiple access problem. So when we have terminals who are using a common medium for communication, then we have this multiple access resource sharing conflict. So basically these multiple um, uh, machines or terminals, they have to agree on how to share the channel in order to have a successful transmission of information. Uh, this is what the MAC layer is dealing with. It's considered to be a sub-layer of the data link layer. And when we are talking about broadcast channel or shared channels here, it can be different kind of physical media. So it can be wired or wireless, you know, single wire, optical fiber, and so on. Um, so the next good question is how to do this assignment of capacity. And there are two main different approaches to it. One is a static and one is a dynamic. So when using the static approach, then we can say that all the available capacity is divided into portions, uh, often equally sized portions, where each user is uh, being assigned one portion. And a portion here could be in terms of it could be in terms of time, it could be in terms of space, it could be in terms of frequencies. So this can be again done in different ways. And then there is a dynamic assignment, which is well dynamic, meaning that we have some kind of dynamic way of sharing the medium. Uh, in the next videos, we'll be looking into both static and dynamic assignment of capacity. So this is the end of the video. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for listening.